Hey guys, it's Matthew, your favorite classmate. Sorry, I can't be there with you guys today. Um, I'm playing in the Gay Softball World Series in Dallas, representing Kansas City. So, root for me. And if you guys miss me so much, you can just watch this video over and over again. Um, but let's go ahead and start. Um, basically, our kiddo is a seven-year-old kid that has cerebral palsy and it's left spastic hemiplegia. Um, so, if my classmates have already not told you, basically they're gonna be in a constant contraction on their left side. Um, where their wrist is flexed, their elbows flexed, you know, they're going to be standing in this type of position. So our therapeutic exercise that we wanted to use um, was with the ball. Um, and if they haven't gone all the way into the spastic hemiplegia with you guys, um, you should already know because you already should have been studying for our test next week. And if you haven't, um, you better get on that. I know I will this week sitting by the pool with a glass of wine. Don't tell her. Um, so what we're going to start out with is I'm going to show you a few different exercise you can do with the ball. Um, and this was one of my favorite things as a kid. So we're gonna progress from sitting to the ball and then to standing, depending on how the kid can function. So we'll start out on the ground. Um, you can have them sit any way. I mean, remember, we always want to have extensor. So, but, you know, it might not be comfortable for a kid, depending on how far in your exercises you are. So just for this purpose, so you can see what we're doing with the extension of the extremity, I'm gonna go ahead and sit crisscross applesauce. Um, but again, you can have your kid do it anyway. So remember, we're gonna be trying to extend the wrist and the elbow during these exercises and reaching out, so it's also gonna work on the coordination. So my friend's gonna go ahead and throw me the ball, and I'm gonna extend out. See, my wrist is now extending and my elbow is extending, and I'm having to look and see for the ball. Then I can use my unaffected extremity and throw it back. But my friend decided to drop it. So we're going to do that one more time. So right here, we'll go out a little bit further and reach out and grab the ball. Now, if you wanted to progress a little bit further, you can grab a stability ball, have them sit on there. Again, I know that we're in, you know, hip flexion and knee flexion, but this is also going to, this is going to help them work on their trunk stability a little bit, trying to sit on the ball, okay? Um, because they're gonna have to use their riding reactions and all this stuff to try and stay centered. So again, you can do the same thing. Go ahead and throw the ball out. I'm gonna extend my arm and my wrist, use my unaffected extremity, and throw it back. One more time, anywhere, there we go. Good, good, and they'll find it fun. You can do the, uh, you know, I don't know, make up something. Um, then if you wanted to go a little bit further, you could do standing. And now with this one, you could actually have them step with their affected extremity. So then you're kind of getting that gait. Now this is obviously for a kid that can already ambulate on their own, I would think. Um, now if not, if they're on a stability ball and they're not capable, you could probably put a gait belt around them and have someone else there hold them. But in this one, you could have them do this and go ahead and throw the ball and then have them step forward and try and grab it. That way they're actually doing an active motion going forward and extending their extremities. Go up here just a little bit without hitting the fan. Out here, so they can kind of step. And now they might be a little unstable, so you might have to hold on to them, but you could have a little box around and be like, try and step out of the box or something like that. So those are just a few ways that you can progress this exercise with just a ball and a sticky pad and a stability ball. So the rest of my classmates will probably talk to you about the other exercises if they already haven't. I miss you guys. Can't wait to see you on Monday for our week of hell.